taught is fun and it's that simple. And it's it like, is. it is. And then, as we saw at 420, it's like, there's no more diverse crowd than you'll find there. People from Definitely. every walk of life. Every walk of life. And, <laughs> and everybody's awesome and friendly and cool. And it, that's what cannabis does. And so how can the military industrial complex sell bombs that kill people of darker skin and sell that model if people are smoking pot? Like once you start using cannabis, you start questioning, like, no, I'll pass the joint to anyone, man. Yeah. I'll pass it to whoever. Yeah. It brings people together. Like it's being a cannabis user doesn't make you less of a human or less of a person in any way whatsoever. In fact, it improves a lot of people's lives. It makes people be able to be more of a person, more of a family member, more of a friend. It must represent something really powerful if you have militaries and world governments devoting trillions of dollars and fully armed cops with guns, like going after a flower. Mm -hmm. A flower, like imagine. This plant must have something really quite special about it. And, we, you know, those of us who really know, know, but it's exciting that a lot of people discovering and saying, oh, it's good for medicine instead of my pills. And then soon they're going to go, wow, it's actually good for, like, the forest or the, you know, yeah. replacing cotton or mm -hmm. anything else. So as people learn more, the seed is planted. It's like not yeah. just a literal seed, but yeah. it's going to blossom. And they're like, wow, there's leaves. And then, whoa, there's buds. And then, holy, there's whole much, a whole lot more. There's a root system, yeah. you know? It's an incredible plant. I, I, I'm, I'm a cannabis evangelist. I said that's a cannabis evangelist. Oh, that is so oh, that's, 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 that's a church I can get behind. Yeah. 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 Cannabis evangelist. <laughs> I'll be there on Sunday. Yeah. 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 I don't know, man. It saved my life. Like, it cannabis saved me from uh, hard drugs, from alcohol, from oh, yeah. Effexor, from antidepressants. Mm -hmm. Cannabis is is definitely my lifesaver for depression and stress and everything. And even if you don't have any problems whatsoever, if it can prevent problems from happening, like that's gold. So mm -hmm. preventative medicine. Yeah. That's the thing. That's <laughs> our Craig X when we filmed with him. Yes. He said that you know recreational. He doesn't love that term okay. because it um it recreational is just preventative medicine like yes. this is a Recreation healing is substance that is not activity. you know exactly healthy it's like activity. you wouldn't say when someone's meditating like oh look at that recreational meditation right? going on with that oh, <laughs> judgment uh, uh, you know, yeah. yeah. no. oh they eat organic yeah. they're uh, just for fun yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's oh, like they love that yoga thing it's just because it's fun uh, yeah. so yeah. trendy all <laughs> those, yeah all those dirty yoga yeah. doers like but instead because of all this bad history we have to first unpack it, plant that seed, and then let people see for themselves how fun it can be, how much you can enjoy it and feel great, how you could literally build your house with yes. it and like yeah. I don't wear your clothes on the moon with it, something. Like, 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 oh. It can do so much. So the cannabis evangelist in me is like, plant the seed, the tree of life, and ye shall bear the fruits that are the healing of the nation. It's like, this is a disciple one. <laughs> It started here today. Right, start Everybody, this is a historical just moment. Stand. It is. It is. <laughs> and our robes will be made out of yeah. hemp cloth to protect the oceans and the coral reefs from the chemicals that are used to grow cotton, and we can save the trees. And kumbaya! I am, I'm, I'm in. I'm in. I'm in. in. With your vision. Cannabis kind is of. like uh, the healing of the nations. It's the healing of, of people on the planet, and I really believe it. And sometimes I feel like. I sound crazy because I try and step out my, outside of myself and say if I heard someone saying that stuff, I think that they're insane. But knowing what I know, I know I'm not insane. <laughs> yeah. I know it just seems. Just ignore insane, those people. They're haters. Because right? <laughs> some of the most radical <laughs> ideas that change the world um, seem impossible or absolutely foolish to begin with. So you, you were like <laughs> singing my inner chorus <laughs> debate. You're like singing our inner song. Seriously, <laughs> in so many ways, like I. You know, grew up in a place where there's a lot of stigma. I wasn't quite against it, but I was definitely yeah. hesitant. I think I'm a smart person. I've done my research now. I've had, you know, been open to learning about cannabis. And when you do, you're like, what yes. the heck? This is a conspiracy of epic proportions. Yeah. Like, yeah. this is mind blowing. And okay, it sounds crazy, but lots of things sounded crazy, like Watergate, or you know, yeah, I mean, yeah. like, and, like all sorts of crazy, Absolutely. immoral, wild or things happening. Looking back as well. and be like, how on earth did we have slavery be yeah. legal? Like, really, you needed an underground railway? You actually like, needed it, that? It wasn't even it's that like, long ago, guys. Right? Like, exactly. <laughs> like, in so people's memories, still. I, I saw a funny joke about that when people were like, oh yeah, like 
everyone's complaining about their ancestors' problems, like feminists, you know, like get over. And we're like, you ancestors. It was like our grandmothers <laughs> yeah. who, who were like me, yeah. you know, like, no, 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 like, you know? Yeah, yeah, like they're still. <laughs> It's, an, it's amazing that even though there's a lot more openness, uh, the most recent polls showed that one out of three Canadians would not work with someone that used marijuana recreationally. I saw and that, that and I was this. like, I'm like, how, why? How backwards. Like, like, can you imagine, and they've often <laughs> asked this, like, what other peaceful lifestyle choice or culture can result in being arrested, having your kids taken away? Like, let's say you're into yoga mm -hmm. or you're into sports. Mm -hmm. or you're into being a vegan, or you're into uh, riding a bicycle, mm -hmm. or you're like a, a serious and music fan. Mm -hmm. Like yeah, imagine totally. any of those people is like, no, you, you can't have kids, you can't have a job, you're going to get evicted. Because mm -hmm. you couldn't do that to any other group. Like you can't do that to people based on their sexual orientation mm -hmm. or their race. You can't do that. And so people say, well, you choose to be a pot smoker. Don't you dare compare yourself and your struggle mm -hmm. to the struggle of others. And it's like, no, the, the right to have a free choice is so essential. If you wanted to go out into a pot parade and you might lose your job because you're in a photo in the news, mm -hmm. being pro it's kind of like the same discrimination. Like oh. if you're if you're okay. if you're gay and you have to hide it in Jamaica, mm -hmm. um, it's a horrible thing. But if you hide it, you're not being persecuted. Mm -hmm. So with cannabis, it's the same thing. If you hide it, you're not going to get in any trouble. Mm -hmm. You can sneak it in your closet mm -hmm. and smoke it. But if you want to be open about it, mm -hmm. then you suffer. Mm -hmm. And yeah. it's, that's the same for other um, groups that are persecuted. Like as soon as you say, no, I want to have pride in my lifestyle. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I want to be proud. This is my lifestyle. And the fact that Canada's Cannabis Act prohibits promoting cannabis as a lifestyle mm -hmm. makes my lifestyle illegal. Mm -hmm. Like I, That's yeah. not fair. And so there's a lot of challenges with this stigma that still exists and as the government says it's dangerous and a threat to public health and safety and then people get terrified about the edibles and the kids and the driving and yeah. it's like the liberals had years to set things straight and they carried on with the propaganda right till the yeah. bitter end right yes I, even until now i think that that's so true and i do often sort of compare and think about the cannabis fight along with those terms of you know the yeah gay rights movement feminist movement civil rights movement and there's been, you know, slightly less, there has been slightly less suffering for cannabis, but not none, you know, like, and I think people sometimes really people forget that, that. like, yeah. what, and there have been, like, families torn apart yeah. by their father being imprisoned Absolutely. in a mass incarceration. And then even consider, you know, like, you know, ask them, how's things. their health care? It's like, have you, do you have issues with health care? Do you want to know why you don't have a hospital? It's because a mm -hmm. billion dollars went to the police mm -hmm. for pot yeah. instead of funding yeah. your hospital. Yeah. Exactly. So you and need to, like, switch it in terms, like, even if you don't yeah. like cannabis, mm -hmm. you're still getting screwed over yeah. by these laws. And, 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 when people say it isn't important, I'm like, it's hugely important. Cannabis can yes. help us in the so pain many relief. ways. Mental pain, physical, yeah. spiritual pain, that. it's pain yeah. relief. And then I think that the final point of that being not just legal, not just I can do it without my kids being stolen, but being proud yes. is huge and is the next stage. Taking away the shame. Yeah. The trauma and the shame. Yeah. Well, and that exactly. The trauma and the shame, which is all just coming from society and yeah. the government and stigma and you know these things that we can fix well, and we unpack need to if we want to if we normalize these the stigmatized the government be proud make be you know, yeah, like, that's the problem is the yeah. liberals said we aren't normalizing this substance we're not normalizing mm -hmm. it. and that's why they're still demonizing it cannabis is freedom in so many ways because right now people are tied to jobs that they can barely get by on they can barely have food the barely nutritious food that barely keeps them going and if they care about a cause or, an, or a passion issue of any kind Kind, the chances of having free time to volunteer to help make the world a better place is almost impossible because you're trying to barely live. So what threatens government more than cannabis? Not only because it makes you question authority, question them and say if they were lying about cannabis, what else are they lying mm -hmm. about? That dismantles everything, you'll never trust them again. Mm -hmm. But cannabis offers freedom and liberation in every sense. Physical freedom from pain, mental freedom from anguish, uh, spiritual freedom from doubts, um, freedom from being judged and unwanted, uh, freedom to experience things more fully. And if you're lucky enough to grow the plant or sell the plant or be associated, economic freedom where you're not tied to a cubicle, withering away, where you can actually work in a job. Like the number of people who get into cannabis in the last few years who came from other industries and the way that they're like, this has changed their life, it gave them a spirit. Yeah. And so 420, the diversity that it represents when people are there, and it's like, Cannabis is the healing of the nations and the people and the world. And once cannabis is truly liberated and truly free, 
You will not have alcohol killing people. You will not have big pharma killing people. You will not have a prison system that's just slavery of the modern era. You will not have wars where tax dollars are dropping bombs on brown babies overseas to keep opium fields under military guard and all of that. The war on terror and the wars overseas and the war on drugs are all tied into making sure that cannabis plant stays illegal. Yeah. And that's why around the world the cannabis leaf, the no cannabis represents the war on drugs because as soon as people start questioning that, then we're going to liberate all the plants. And that will be the true healing of the nations. You know, when we were on the losing end as activists for so long, yeah. and, and it was like just even getting a news story mm -hmm. about marijuana was a victory. Getting a positive news story was like seeing a oh unicorn. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And now it's like this weed <laughs> Unicorns everywhere. everywhere. Yeah. 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 There's so much information, so that is good. And I have to acknowledge that's a positive change. But you can't forget that those who oppose us will fight just as hard as we did when we were on the losing end and now they're extra pissed that they're losing yeah. so they're going to fight even harder with propaganda so do not rest don't let the reefer madness take hold spread cannabis truth smash the stigma liberate and, and normalize this planet and all the people so i'm so proud and impressed with you guys for what you do it was really exciting i'm so glad we connected oh and i mean check her out come down to cannabis culture and thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to enjoy responsibly and don't drive high. Oh, thank you so much. That was Seriously, all of that resonated. I watched that uh, again. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that was so good. Seriously, so much of that resonated. I don't even know how. The whole time I was like, how are we ever gonna make this attention?